hook I am using is an Arex NS122 in size 8, and the thread is Vivis 140 power thread in hot pink. Start your thread halfway down the hook shank, then snip off one rubber leg and fold it in half. Tie the ends in on one side of the hook. Then fold it over and tie the other ends on the other side of the hook shank. Now smooth it out with some thread wraps and wrap under the legs to angle them upward slightly. Pull the legs tight and clip the loops to make four legs. Now take some mono shrimp eyes. These are custom eyes I made and I showed you guys a video on how to make them earlier this week. Tie them in so they are angling upward. Then tie under the eyes a few times to make sure they stay angling upward. And also between the eyes to keep them spread apart. This may take a bit of tweaking to get just right. Once you're happy with the position of the eyes, then snip off the excess monofilament and tie down securely. Now attach some pink cactus chenille and bring your thread back to just shy of the eye of the hook. Make one wrap under the eyes and then start making touching wraps down the hook shank. You want to pull all the fibers rearward with every wrap as well to keep them from being trapped. Capture the chenille just shy of the hook eye, and then snip off the waist. Try to pull all the fibers rearward while tying down to keep them from hanging over the hook eye. Now trim the top part of the chenille to make a flat spot. And adjust your eyes again if need be. Now trim some tan extra select craft fur and pull out the under fur. I have shown you guys this many times, but I also have a video on how to properly cut craft fur. Pinch the end of the craft fur and pull out the shorter fibers. Then align the shorter fibers with the tips of the longer fibers and measure the length of the fur. Clip the fur slightly longer than you'll need and then tie it in on top of the fly, in between the eyes. You want to leave a little room at the eye of the hook as well in order to easily trim off the waist. But if you didn't, just do your best to trim the waist off cleanly. Now make a few wraps over the waist to clean up the head of the fly. And then whip finish your fly. For added security, I like to cement the head with UV resin. And there we go, this fly is finished. It is pretty simple and quick to tie, and it's also quite effective. So I named this the Presidential Fly because of the striking resemblance of the US President's hairline. Oh man, I know someone's going to get mad over this one. <laughs> As you can see, the fly sinks slowly in the water column, but it has some really nice movement when stripped or jerked. When quickly jerked, it will give a slight side-to-side -side action. And it also moves nicely when doing just even strips as well. Well, thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave your questions in the comments section, and don't forget to check the description section for a list of materials I used today. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.